the things that are wrong in what the bishop is talking about today. God is not interested in your donation, right? So my own question is, if he's not interested in my donation, why are you taking it? If God is not interested in people's donation, why are you collecting it? You see, these people, they just make you look stupid. Make you lose... In fact, I think before I even go ahead, let me let me read to you a letter that I just got. I got that, you know, you remember in the beginning, well, if you were there from the beginning, I said I just received a letter from Oyedepo's people, Oyedepo's former members or present members who, who, are, who are writing me. And I said I will share with you what I, what I read. I think these people, they just reminded me I have to share what, with you what, I mean, what I'm reading. In fact, because this thing is, is just embarrassing and it's absolutely ridiculous what this man is doing. Okay, see the letter I just got. Okay, see what it's saying. Hello, sir. I can write a whole book on Bishop Oye, on Oyedepo. He's not even saying bishop. This is, a, this is a pastor. This was a pastor from Oyedepo's church. He said he can write a whole book on Oyedepo. He is the most corrupt pastor in Nigeria. This is somebody that I didn't know. He is the most corrupt pastor in Nigeria. Pastor Sunday, you are thinking it is Ashimolo that is the most corrupt? You thinking it's Adeboye? No, they are not. They they are they are small compared to Oyedepo. Oyedepo's corruption, and Oyedepo actually corrupted them. Oyedepo corrupted Ashimolo. Oyedepo corrupted Adeboye. It was since he made it since Oyedepo made Adeboye his spiritual father that Adeboye became corrupt. Yeah, my of uh, okay, you are saying. Okay, he left. Uh, all right, okay, I will not read his personal stuff. Um, Pastor Sunday, you know what? You are a dream come, come true. I never knew six years ago that a popular pastor like yourself, a popular person like yourself, can be so used by God to vindicate what we have all known. We pastors who are who are, who are pastors under Oyedepo. What does this mean? Alagbari, 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 ni babanye. Alagbari, ah, what is it? Okay, I don't understand. So that's Yoruba word. I shouldn't read it. I shouldn't read it. Should I? I shouldn't use it. I should read it. I can read it. Okay. Alagbari, yeah, you say. Alagbari ni baba. Babanye. Oh, okay. Alagbari ni babanye. What, what does that mean? Alagbari ni babanye. Is, then he said he is 419. Alagbari ni babanye. Okay, somebody is writing. It means he's a scammer. <laughs> what is so this guy is writing in Yoruba as that the guy is a con man. This is a pastor who walked closely with him, writing here. A pastor who walked closely with this man. That the man is Alagbari ni babanye. How did you get it that that's what it was? I was trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> you said this man said this man now has moved from Nigeria to England. He's now a doctor in England. And when he was a doctor in England, he is one of the people that treated Oyedepo in, in England when Oyedepo was sick. So he said this man is a wicked man, he's a con artist. He said when he was sick, they admitted Oyedepo to hospital in 2008 in England for several weeks. He was sick in the hospital. But Oyedepo will come back to Nigeria. And even in that same England, he will not let any member of his church know. He will tell, yeah, he will tell all our pastors that Baba is in Nigeria. He's doing prayers. He's in the mountain. He's on the mountain praying. But he was in the hospital in, 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 in England. And they were treating him here as a doctor too. And he said now, that he will, but he will come after he came back from the hospital. He went to the pulpit and said he has never been sick in his life. <laughs> he has never, so he's a liar. He said he has never been sick in his life and that he never went to hospital. Mm -hmm. 
But when he goes to church, he will also tell his members to be drinking oil and be drinking you no know, bribina mm -hmm. and be wearing handkerchief when he is going to the best hospital in England. <laughs> He's telling people that he has power to heal and his members should not go to the hospital. They shouldn't believe in diagnosis that they have been diagnosed with. And those people are dying sheep death. Where he goes to for the best medical services. Pastor, I'm going to send you more information about him today. I'm ashamed for what, what, what I'm going to show you that, you know, uh, you know that this man has done. I have disassociated myself from, with, from him. This is the letter I just got right now. Mm. I just... <laughs> so, so let's... Yeah, I think we have to hear that video again so that you will know how serious what, what we are doing is. And uh, this man is just work. He's just mesmerizing people's intelligence. It's just taking, it's just messing up people's intelligence. The earth is the Lord and the fool is your God does not need no donation from you. Your giving is a spiritual transaction, not a donation. So, 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 so. See, see what he's saying? That your giving, if nobody needs your donation. donation. Nobody needs your donation. And you're giving some transaction. This man here said when he was in that as a medical doctor in England, he was giving, giving, giving to the church. He couldn't even afford anything. But see what he's saying. But after I left winners, when he stopped, he said, I stopped taking my tithe offering, all those shiloh, everything. I stopped giving tithe. He even stopped giving tithe. He said, but though I give. I do giving, free will giving to people, to, you know, but I stopped giving tight. He said, when I left winners, 50% of all our friends, you know, disappeared. But to be honest, I bless God for that because we started going to a white church. We are in that white church in 100 years, nobody ever called for money or tight. But see what has happened. The things I couldn't do in winners. Because they were taking all the money, offering, giving, everything. But after I left winners, I have bought a house that is costing for $500,000. Half, I mean, pounds. Half a million pounds. So, 500,000 pounds out is where I'm living right now. I've been able to buy a house costing 500,000. Five, zero, zero, dot. Zero, zero, zero. Five hundred thousand, half a million, just the house alone. After leaving, thank God they left. To, all that money was going to winners. They were saying we will not be blessed. It is after he left winners that he started being blessed. When he was there, he couldn't be blessed because he was taking everything to the church. He said, apart from that, Pastor, I built, I built houses, several houses in Nigeria. I built several houses in Nigeria, not on loan. None of this thing is on loan or on credit. Not the house in England on loan, not the last in Nigeria, just from saving, from not paying tight for six years. He stopped paying tight for six years. He, and in between those six years, he has built many houses in Nigeria and he has built a half a million dollar house in all those things he was supposed to be taking to church for tight, for offering, for this offering, for that offering. He is now building wealth. That is what Nigeria would have become if not for these churches. Can you imagine all those money every family has taken to churches for they have to have invested them? If, they have, if every family has invested, started business, can you see the booming economy that would have been happening in Nigeria? It is the churches that are hoarding all the wealth of Nigeria. They are being hoarded. What do, you mean, what do I mean by hoarding? Let's say there is rice. There is production of one million rice. And all the churches are saying, bring all the rice. So you brought all the rice and all the rice are piled up in these churches. Then there is no more, only one million. All the one million or maybe 800 out of one million or 900 out of one million is already 
in the churches, hoarded. They are keeping them. Only 100 le is left, bag of rice is left for the whole country. That's why poverty is. Nobody can eat because only the ones who are powerful and more money can afford that 100. That's how poverty comes to the country. So the wealth of the country is hoarded by these churches. We, let's say we have one million bag of rice. All the one million bag of rice being taken to the church. The whole country is poor, pure. No, more, no rice to cook. No more rice to sell. No, you cannot do business. You cannot save. You cannot be industry. That is what has happened to Nigeria. These churches have killed our economy. These churches have killed our people. These churches, you cannot send your children to school. You cannot, you know, go build your pension plan. You cannot build your industry. You cannot start your own business. You cannot be, because all the money has been taken to the churches and the churches are holding them, holding them down. This is what happened to this man. He stopped taking money to winners and his breakthrough came. All these people who are deceiving themselves that it is by taking money to Oyedepo or any of these churches that they will have breakthrough is lying. The only person who is going to have breakthrough is Oyedepo himself. And you will be having poverty. So this man said he has houses all over Nigeria now. I got to, the, apart from that, he's still writing, I got to the peak of my career as a medical consultant in the UK. After he left, because when he was in the church, he was a pastor. Assistant pastor, because the pastor there is, you know, in the UK, is there in the sun and all that. So he was an assistant pastor. He was running up and down as an errand boy. He had to drive away depot when he, because he's a medical doctor. He has to drive away depot the wife. He has to take. He, he was didn't have time to develop his profession. He couldn't read because by the time you are come, you come back home, you are tired. No time to develop yourself. But thank God he stopped going to Yedeko's church. As a result, he said he got to the peak of his career as a medical consultant in the UK. A Nigerian in the UK hospital who was not even bread and butter in UK before. I got my citizenship after I left the church. I couldn't get my citizenship. He couldn't get his papers. And he was paying, you know, giving seed to get the papers. They were telling them to go and do this, to go and do that. Breakthrough will come, you'll get your papers. He couldn't get any of those things. He couldn't get the house, he couldn't get anything. Now, everything came after leaving those, that these are Nigerian churches. He said, no, no man lays hands on me to get all these things, so just by hard work. And I didn't do any covenant, anything, no. I didn't even give tithe. No covenant, nothing. And I got all these things. So he's saying, Pastor, please tell all those people who are watching you. Let me see what he's writing here. Please, Pastor, tell Nigerians who are following you on the platform to quit going to African churches. He said he's begging you. If you are in the UK and you are still going to any African church, he said, if you want to make it run for your life, go to white church. Go to white Caucasian church. Run away from Nigerian churches. Many of them are following you, Pastor, but they are still deacons and workers in these churches. They are wasting their lives in this RCCG, winners, K KICC, and everything. That's what this man is saying. He made it thanks to the fact that he was able to get himself safe and run away from that somewhat national, from these cults called churches. Yeah, this Lord the fool is out. God does not need no donation from you. Your giving is a spiritual transaction, not a donation. So it's you know it's, it's just messed up people. Your giving is nothing. God does not need, but God does not need it. So why are you taking it on His behalf? God does not need it, which is true. But why are you taking these things on on God's behalf in the name of God, robbing people in the name of God? If you have been... And when it's acceptable, the return must become obvious. So, when it's acceptable, the return become... So he's, st he's, he's still giving himself coverage. That is not my fault though. It is God. If you don't get any returns for your giving, it's because it's not acceptable. Then, if you have not yet subscribed, but you have said so, there is no rule. Then you have said tight is what opens them, tight is what brought you out, tight is what will make people do this and that. And but now you are saying it's going to be if, if you don't get results, it's because it's not acceptable. Why is it not acceptable? I will not be available when you said it's the one that brings the thing. So they just confuse you. So there is no you cannot rely on anything, no certainty.
Facebook. No, Tyler. one plus two. Oh, I mean, one oh, plus one is two. Uh, two plus two is four. No certainty. This thing will bring you out, but if you don't get results, it's because you are doing something wrong. It's your fault.